from Life in Layouts. Thanks for joining me for another process video. Today I am using this sketch from the scrap room and I am going to be using this really old paper called So Happy and it is by Simple Stories I believe or I'm sorry Echo Park. So I am still trying to use up my colored cardstock and I will tell you that this blue I'm not very happy with it but I am not taking this layout apart I am not going to change anything about it even though the blue is not I feel like it doesn't really match at the end it matched when I laid it out but I just ended up not liking it but I'm going to leave it as it goes and uh, just let it be so I am following this sketch I did cut the that hexagon paper there down to a one inch and I cut the little teal paper a uh, quarter of an inch and it looks a lot bigger on that layout there right now because I did end up cutting it bigger but once I started to get my layers in there with this khaki color I'm also going to have an, that orange polka dot and stripe a diagonal stripe I realize that I don't have enough space so I go ahead and cut down the those two pieces of paper so on the right side of this layout I am following this sketch and these two photos are photos of my friend's daughter uh, playing soccer and so I really wanted to highlight her on the field which is what these two photos do and then the other side of the layout the left side of the layout it's gonna have pictures of her other two kids kind of watching her daughter play as well as some group shots and some smaller photos as well. So now that I have gotten all of my layers down, I'm going to try to cut this piece down as well. And I think that you guys saw that I used the very scientific method of my fingernail to cut down everything. I do go ahead and use dried magnolia as my distress ink. And I will tell you that I didn't do this on camera, but at the very end, I used that same ink to add a couple little hearts around the layout just to add a little bit of interest to my clusters. And you guys will see that in the close ups. So I've used this technique before, and I told you guys that if uh, to go ahead and put the adhesive down on your paper, it really does make the adhering it down so much better. So after I got everything down, I realized that I missed a layer in my photos there. So I go ahead and pull out, I'm gonna use that three by four card that has the star punched out of it. It's like a grid print. So I go ahead and trim down that star and I am hanging on to that, it's still in my kit, just because I might need that somewhere in the future. So don't ever get rid of scraps like that because those are really, cool looking scraps and they can definitely be added to your layouts. I do use fun foam on both of the photos because there's so many layers in this. I just wanted to make sure that I showed showcase those photos and those photos really stood out. But what I did was I took that green paper, the tone on tone green paper, and I s expanded it to the left side of the layout. So you'll see that I went ahead and put that down and then I put my three four by four photos right next to it. So when you, they are together, it does look like it's a continuous layout. The two photos that are on the end, I do cut them down to three by four, just because there was a lot of um, white space or, or empty space, even though it's trees and sun, or the clouds. So I was able to get still get the focus of the photos, which is her kicking the soccer ball and then her with her coach. I do go ahead and put the one with her coach up on fun foam. And the first thing that I start to do when I start my embellishment is go ahead and put in my title. My title is going to be just kicking it. I thought that was a cute title. Again, I looked that title up on Google, I just searched soccer titles and I found that one. I thought that was perfect for this layout. I am gonna do it in three different colors. So I did it in that pink and it's got like a glittery tone to it. I'm gonna use these orange basic gray stickers that are flat. And then for the word it, I'm gonna use these tile stickers in a gray color. Once I get all of that down, I did 
pull out my embellishment book and pull some embellishments for this particular layout because the stickers and the other pieces that go with it didn't with this paper doesn't really go with soccer so I pulled out some of my own embellishments to try to fill in the embellishment clusters I'm gonna start out with this orangey color tree and I really like the way that it sits right there However, I had to move it a little bit because I found this clear sticker that says playing hard, which I thought was perfect. So I just put that clear sticker down and then I had to move that tree over just a little bit. I am trying to make this arrow work and I end up trying it out in a couple different places. It does eventually make it on the layout. It took me a little bit to get there. I added a little yellow camera and then that little pink word phrase says big moment because this was her first year playing soccer so it was a big moment for the family that orange banner that I just put down says let the good times roll I thought that was appropriate for a soccer layout and then I have that ticket and the ticket says I think it's like 50 cents and I'm trying to cover that up because it this wasn't really wasn't a like an admission type thing so I go ahead and that's where I finally put that little banner that I was trying to put on the left hand or the right hand side of the layout with a little green heart I had this clear sticker which I've had in my stash forever I really think that I got these like when I first started scrapbooking because it was those clear books that we used to get that had like tons and tons of stickers and this one was about um boys playing so it just has the word run and then it has the definition like it would be in the dictionary so it tells you there's like four different definitions for it and I really like that because that's what she's doing and is running around in soccer I added a banner with a little heart on it and then a tag or a tab at the top and a little blue sticker and then that piece down there with the clouds it says can't stop won't stop which I thought was perfect for the layout in the cluster at the top there that I'm working on now I have another little ticket I have a pink banner with the with a heart on it I add an orange banner and then add a word phrase that says dream I decide to go back to the left hand side of the layout and add a few more pieces to this cluster on the left. I was actually trying to figure out a way to get some of the clusters around my title. It just didn't work out. I went ahead and added the circle there and I put the year on that. I actually started to put the year and the or the date over there on the right hand side but I liked it better on the left because it brought that pink that's over on the right hand side. So I just have October 2016 on that sticker there. And that is it for this layout. I do go ahead and add a couple more pieces as well as those stamps. I do those off camera. So you will see those in the close-ups. Make sure you check out the scrap room because they have lots of fun inspiration. And I will link that for you below. Here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layouts, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope that you have a scrappy day.